Hello everyone this is Rohit Shankar Mani and welcome to Scientist A Academy today we are going to learn about evolution of microorganisms now let's start the video now we know that earth is created million years ago and because of that we all are curious about microbial life their origin with respect to the universe evolution chemical evolution biological evolution and cognogenic evolution now let's start with the introduction now first we are going to understand what is evolution Evolution means an unfolding of orderly change from one situation to the another situation. The planets and stars, the earth's geography and the chemical compounds of the universe and the chemical fundamentals and their subatomic particles have undergone regularly uh, and orderly changes is termed as a inorganic evolution. The term organic evolution states that all the various plants and animals existing at the present time have descended from other usually the simple life form by gradually modifications which has accumulated in the following generations the main tendency in the evolution is been towards enlarged variation to some fastidious environment and this has regularly involved increased specializations and complexity of structures and their functions life originated on the earth million years ago and since then countless varieties of living beings have evolved but this living matter cannot have existed all the time on the earth next point is the evolution of microbial life now we can see this figure now this figure indicates that evolution of microbial life now here we can understand that how the microbial life originated on the earth billion years ago now first we can see here origin of the earth now on the earth first prokaryotes were originated then afterwards oxygen generating photosynthesis then single celled eukaryotes then multicellular eukaryotes then diversification of animals and then land plants with respect to the paleozoic mesozoic cenozoic eras and then at last humans were originated so this is the evolution of microbial life the next point is the origin of life on the earth now we are going to learn how life originated on the earth with respect to the different evolution phenomena now let's start the video first is the universe evolution now here it is totally depends on the gases created in the atmosphere this evolution was revealed with different hypotheses that is nebular hypothesis planet smear hypothesis and tidal hypothesis now these three hypotheses are total depends on the universal evolution now here we are going to learn about first nebular hypothesis it was proposed by m l kant in 1755 and further supported by p d simon laplace in 1796 the planets have 98% of the rotational energy of the solar system whereas sun has about 99.87% of the mass the heavy elements on the earth can create only at temperatures for superior than those current on the sun some of the satellites revolve in the background direction and one of them revolves faster than its planet rotates the mechanism of ring formation does not correspond to rotational velocity of solar nebula as postulated now next hypothesis is a planet simmel hypothesis it is also called as a star hypothesis now this hypothesis was given by thomas and forest malton in 1895 it explains about the collision between the stars and sun due to objection this hypothesis got rejected now next hypothesis is the tidal hypothesis it was given by the scientists james jeans and harold leifers in 1917 it is about the collision between two stars and sun which produces cigar shaped thread of solar gases sun broke this thread into rotating spheres that's planet therefore originally the earth was a burning rotating ball of hot gases and fumes of variety of elements during million years the gases condensed into a molten core and diverse elements got stratified on the basis of their density different heavy elements sank to the center and shaped the solid center of the earth and solidified into shape of the crust the piece of the earth between center and crust formed a mantle which was solid this sustained for million years and resulted in the cooling of the earth surface next chemical evolution 
The scientists open and reveal the life was created from different chemical compounds such as water, methane, nitrogen hydroxide, nitrogen formed nitrides, oxides, dicarbon, CO2 and Cu ammonia. But afterwards, the Miller Ure did one experiment and he proved a chemical evolution. Now, Stanley Miller and Harold Ure conducted experiments trying to recreate the conditions of the prebiotic earth. They succeeded in creating organic molecules. Miller and Ure con concluded that organic compounds could have formed on prebiotic earth. Next is the biological evolution. Now, here, these first cells were similar to the present day mycoplasma and viruses. Further, DNA took place of a repository of genetic information. These protobionts gave rise to Monera and Protista. The Monera and Protista gave rise to prokaryote and eukaryotic, respectively. Monera devolved, developed into bacteria and cyanobacteria, whereas Protista gave rise to eukaryotic or that developed into protozoa and metaphyta. Next is Cognogeny. Cognogeny is the diversification of protozoa into metazoa, metaphyta and various other organisms. The archaebacteria are said to be the oldest one living fossils that had separated from the main monera line long ago. Regardless of the exact mechanism involved, the emergence of eukaryotic cell led to dramatic increase in the complexity and diversity of life on the earth. At first, organisms were capable of existing only as a independent single cells. Later, some evolved into multicellular organisms in which various cells became specialized for many different functions. So this is the cognogenic evolution. If you have any question, you can comment or you can mail me on rohitmane2025 at gmail.com. Thanks a lot.